Let's look how is Duke Energy doing today in the stock market. We will cover all these points for better stock picking. Duke Energy closed at $101.37, with the increase of 0.38% in the last trading session. Let's look at today's trend indicators. The moving average is bearish. Technical indication is in downtrend and overall daily trend for the stock is in very declining trend. Looking at weekly analysis, the weekly stock trend is neutral. Today's market fear in greed index is 63, which is indicating greedy emotion in the public sentiment. We usually look at this indicator to make our buy or sell decisions better. Duke Energy gave negative 2.76% returns in the last week negative 1.62% in the last 30 days, and three months returns are 14.25%. Now let's have a look at simple moving average data. Moving average indicates that what could be the next footprint of the stock price in near future. Five day average is 101 with a bearish indication. 10 day is 103 with a bearish indication. 20 day average is 103, which is a bearish signal. Let's look at fundamental analysis. We will mainly see the last two quarters of the company. In June 22, the revenue was $66.85 million. In the recent quarter, September 22, it increased to $79.68 million. Now let's see the profitability of Duke Energy. In the quarter June 22, the profits were $907 million. And in the recent quarter, September 22, the profits increased to $14.22 million. Let's see debt numbers. Debt to equity number tells us how much the company is in debt. In the first quarter, it was 1.36, then it increased to 1.4, then in third quarter, it again went up to 1.41. In the recent quarter, the debt score increased to 1.45. Generally, this ratio should not be over 2.0. This is today's buy or sell decision for this stock, which is purely based on the technical indicators. This is not a recommendation, but use this just as a guiding pointer for your stock picking.